Morning Thailand supported by Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. And welcome back to the program. You're watching Morning Thailand with Phi Golf and now Kun Chen. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Now Kun Chen, I mentioned mm-hmm. a little bit earlier about the fact that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are quite concerned and confused mm-hmm. at times. Mm-hmm. What is the deal with Thai military and Thai politics? It seems uh-huh. like Kun Su Thep just kind of leaning toward talking to the military top mm-hmm. brass and make it clear that he left the RB, uh, the police chief mm-hmm. out altogether. He, he didn't even mention maybe perhaps talking to the army chief, but he mm-hmm. requested the, to meet with the military side instead. Are they playing such a big role in Thai society? Yes. Uh, in short, yes. <laughs> in short, yes. Uh, actually, yesterday, mm-hmm. uh, General mm-hmm. Buller Gabrasit, that uh, you two are already uh, reported about, mm-hmm. uh, the leader of Pitak Siam Group announced his support for the PDRC. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, uh, General Buller himself has earlier attempt but failed to st- uh, stage a mass rally last year. Oh. Uh, the campaign is called to freeze Thailand. Oh right, I remember uh-huh. that. Because he and his supporters wanted to freeze the Thai politics and set up a committee to run the country instead. Oh, so quite, it's quite, quite similar. similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, as well, there has been a lot of pressure mm-hmm. on uh, the military over the protests and the government. Many mm-hmm. pressed the army to take side, mm-hmm. to be precise, right. to side with them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, there was a meeting between Kun Ying Lak Chinawat, the Prime Minister, and Kun Su Thep Subban, which the military uh, were the mediators. But it has not been successful in fixing the political uh, problems right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the week, there are many rumors uh, still over the city that Kun Su Thep has met with uh, military top brass already, but mm-hmm. uh, the military spokesperson has come out denying that. Right. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, there are many retired military officers saying that the army shall remain neutral. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, one that really made harsh comments on this matter is General Achawin Sawesereni, who says that General Prayut Chan Ocha, the army chief, should, listen, should not listen to General Prawit Wong Su Wan, the uh, former defense minister, right. and General Anupong Pao Jinda, the former army chief, because mm-hmm. General Prayut has many seniors who disagree with those two. Mm-hmm. But uh, General Achawin did not clearly uh, explain what he means. Uh, later, uh, Win Tai Suwari, the one that we are seeing on the screen right now, mm-hmm. deputy spokesperson of the army, revealed that General Prayut realized that uh, there are many different opinions in the society, not only in the uh, army circle. However, he would like to thank every senior officer for all concerns and comments, mm-hmm. and he would do his best to protect the dignity of the army as well as to find a way out for the political deadlock we are facing right now. Mm-hmm. It is not only about the problem about the law or constitution, because for General Prayut, uh, it is also about how the military con- can communicate to the people, mm-hmm. especially the protesters of our pets, uh, who are very ready to confront and prone to violence. Mm-hmm. Moreover, to communicate with international community is another challenging task for the military nowadays, uh, which on this matter, I would say the PDRC mm-hmm. is quite doing a great job because uh, they have issued their statements in many languages right now, right. Uh, including Thai, English, German, French, and Chinese. Wow, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, for the military and political de- development, uh, there is a research conducted by Dr. Sajid Bunmongkan, the former dean of the Faculty of Political Science, Chua Leung Kwan University. He explains that the military has played a crucial role in the Thai politics uh, throughout history since the ending of the absolute monarchy in 1932. Uh, the le- representative institutions and public political apparatus remain very fragile in the Thai society, and that allowed the military to take control of state power uh, from time to time. Mm-hmm. Over the past 60 years, the struggle over between uh, the, the army and the civilian politicians has been reflected in a series of coups and mm-hmm. uh, continue of military control of the state. The army forces have been concerned not only uh, as a to for national security, but also for the political stability in 
Thailand. The party, the party system uh, is far from institutionalized and lacks of mass support, which is a clear, clear, uh, clear evidence as a result of uh, separation between democracy and military rule remain uh, very unclear mm -hmm. in the society. And uh, in the last 10 years, however, Thailand has undergone dramatic changes which perhaps provide a precondition for democracy, uh, such as pluralism, uh, open politics, and rapid in industrialization. Mm -hmm. So over the past decades, the military has played a, a garden role for the country. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how that would be of, the conclusion. <laughs> a lot of anti-government protesters associated mm -hmm. them with more, like a protest um, protector, mm -hmm. rather yeah, than protesters. Yeah, mm -hmm. rather than opposing them. Mm -hmm. I think one of the thing too that since the the anti-government protesters seems to talk a lot mm -hmm. about royal family. And somehow that's that's one of the biggest um, division as well because some claim that the red shirt people are the one that's not so loyal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they say that they are the one that loyal, and that's why they out on the street. And military has been seen all these years as the protector or mm -hmm. of especially the, the guards the, for the royal um, family as well. Major flood, right? So mm -hmm. at this point, it seems like um, the division is actually a lot deeper than we mm -hmm. anticipated. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to talk to them. Mm -hmm. The military already expresses that stance already mm -hmm. that they will mm -hmm. be siding with the people mm -hmm. so, and the country. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of, you know, gave a lot of people the, the unclear expectation. The, one mm -hmm. of those, mm -hmm. I would have to say, a lawyer expression because you can mm -hmm. interpret it. Mm -hmm. In different ways. Exactly. So they're trying their best to be neutral, obviously, and have to answer mm -hmm. to all the medias and reporters mm -hmm. about they're not having a coup and such mm -hmm. because global ca uh, community is looking at that yes. as well because they feel that perhaps the anti-government protesters um, siding with military because they're hoping for a coup yeah. mm -hmm. and such but at this point it just gives you an idea that the reason behind it mm -hmm. is because they were actually appear to be a protector a guard of the mm -hmm. country more or less and just giving you more updates here, mm -hmm. the army has uh, held a public seminar this Saturday as well mm -hmm. for the public to join at the Royal Infantry on Jang Watana Road and the seminar will start at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So we have a meeting between Kun Suthep Thya Suban mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the military top, top brass mm -hmm. at 3 and, and then a seminar held mm -hmm. by the army themselves mm -hmm. at 5. So a lot of people are opening the table mm -hmm. right. for a so talk. So surely that would be a very interesting weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you, of course. sorry, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you know about this, but do you know whether or not that 151 academics would likely like oh. to join this particular meeting? The Assembly for the Defense of... Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one? Which because one? We got on Saturday or on Sunday? On Saturday with the military top brass being there. Because they did talk about, you know, there should be election for sure. And mm -hmm. maybe, maybe they would like to join well, any of the forum at this point. Because um, we, I haven't seen that they come out and say that they're uh, going to join any of these. I doubt if they would join. But mm -hmm. I am very certain that there will be uh, announcements from them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they, they did say that they want to have a measures all or have some kind of procedures for the solution mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. a way out. We right. got the one at Tamasat University mm -hmm. in the afternoon and the one in the evening at the Royal Thai. I mean, on Sunday, we have mm -hmm. a public national forum mm -hmm. held by the caretaker government, inviting all sectors of the society to join. So hopefully we've the, got a uh, way out. Queen's Rikid. Yeah. National yeah. Convention Center. Yes, and I course. think at this point, if you're political <laughs> science students, um, this is probably a great time for you to explore your theories. A very and important exactly. case study. So at this point, um, it's quite interesting, but like I said before, one of the things is, um, this is just show you that people are a, little, a lot more active mm -hmm. when it comes to politics mm -hmm. than we have been in the past whatever years, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. look at the bright side, it's good. But unfortunately, we're running out of time. We have to end this particular program of the show. Thank you, Wings Learning Circle uh, English Course, uh, customized, customized English Course for, for your, your business. business. And have to say goodbye for now. Thank you for tuning in and have a very great weekend. We we'll see you again on Monday. And bye. Golf. Sorry,